Good morning, everybody. Kai Waza with you. Welcome back to my channel and to uh, a Candles Empty video. Uh, I'm just finishing up my coffee. I really need this coffee. Mm. And I have some clothes in the dryer right now. And what better time to do this video? But I'm telling you, I need every last drop of this coffee. Okay, so here we are in the month of April. What did I burn in the month of March? My candle empties videos and uh, discussion about the candles that I burned. Let's start with a couple of the small ones. I got this DW Home one for $2. It was on clearance. It's just a little small one for a lantern in root beer. And it definitely smelled like root beer, but it wasn't very strong when I burnt it. Um, I burned it in my lantern in the foyer and I couldn't really smell it in there, but it was a nice light. $2, you know, that's okay. Likewise, I had one more of these. Uh, I lost the lid somewhere. Pier One candles, these small ones in the suede scent um, which cost me like almost nothing because they were on a clearance that was 25% off of that and this has a nice smell definitely of suede but again I couldn't really smell it when it was burning in the uh, lantern but it was a nice uh, you know just a nice light now let me tell you what I could smell that was a small candle darn these uh, bath I got some of these bath and body works small ones um, that they had on sale quite a while ago, seven ounce. Um, this one is Marshmallow Fireside, and I got several different kinds that were somewhat generic that I could probably use, you know, with different scents. And this thing was strong. <laughs> I mean, I had it burning in the little, uh, well, most of the time I had it burning in the, in the foyer in the and a lantern I have in there. And uh, there were many, many evenings where I could smell what this was, you know, I could smell this little candle sitting here on my bed where I'm filming this, which is where I'm often sitting, reading and listening to music and stuff. Uh, I could smell this thing from the foyer better than what I was uh, burning right here in this room. So very, very strong this one was very good and I do like the marshmallow fireside I mean it's just sort of smoky vanilla like whatever really nice but yeah and it you know they're kind of blenders so this kind of blends with a lot of things super strong and then uh, I showed these last time and I started them these were $4.99 at Ross I'd never seen these before uh, from a company called Northern Lights uh, lemon honey melts. They're just little already, you know, chopped up melts. This scent is lemon honey. I also had a plum blossom, which I had, had intended to melt some from this month, but I didn't, I didn't yet, so I haven't tried it. But I've done honey lemon a few times. I have some going right now, and I'm really happy with this. It's uh, definitely like a lemon and honey scent. You get both of that, and. It's a refreshing lemon. It's very nice and it's pretty strong. I mean, I just threw four or five little tiny chunks here in the in the melter and it's filling the room up uh, pretty much as strong as any candle has. So, you know, I've, I've been happy with this. Curious to try the plum blossom, but yeah, this was good. If I see, you know, some other scents in this when Ross reopens, our Ross is closed. Um, we have somebody's messaging me. People always like message you when you're filming something. Do you have that? Like, you know. Um, anyway, let's continue. Oh, when our Ross reopens. Yeah, because it's all closed. Uh, where we are, state of Hawaii has a, um, and the city, county of Honolulu both have uh, stay at home, work at home, whatever edicts going on and um, yes and all of our only essential businesses are open so all of our like kind of retail I mean like Walmart and Costco and and those things are open I was surprised to find a pet store open the other day 
<laughs> they were surprised they were on the essentials list too, they said, but I guess when you think about it, pets have to be fed and taken care of, so I guess it was essential. And I bought a fish. I bought a little Siamese fighting fish. I was there with a friend of mine who was actually doing some shopping for his pets, but um, yeah, I have gone out. I mean, I, I think maybe I'll do a video on how people are handling the coronavirus thing, you know, individually, because I wouldn't mind talking about it. But this is about candle empties. So let's continue. So a uh, couple of Bath and Body Works candles. Two I have. Uh, French Lavender. This one reads, uh, South of France Lavender with Vanilla Soft Jasmine with Essential Oils. Very nice scent. Definitely Lavender. Um, vanilla, I don't know, whatever. This is kind of a herbaceous vanilla and a little floral. Um, it was not super, super strong, but it was okay. It was like maybe a five or six. You know, I could smell it. Um, the performance was okay. Um, it did sit up a little bit but at the end, but that's because I didn't, you know, I just kind of let it at the end. Then I also did a pink petal tea cake. I was really looking forward to burning this one. Pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. This is a beautiful scent. Um, definitely like a rose, not, not really like floral rose, but more like a, I don't know if you've ever had a sugar candied rose thing. I haven't had them here, but I had them in Portland once. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, pound cake, yeah, just sort of a little generic vanilla cake sort of scent. It's nice. Um, <clears throat> I like the scent. Uh, I was disappointed in that this one really wasn't very strong. Um, I would say a four, maybe a five. Um, I could smell it. I could definitely smell it when I was around it, but if I was like sitting here on the bed or um, wherever, like it, you wouldn't really smell it very much so it was a little bit on the light side uh, the performance was okay I'm not sure I would get pink petal tea cake again I mean I do like the scent but it just seems like it's kind of weak which is disappointing now other candles we have from uh, Pier One sadly no more blue hydrangea I probably got well, this went out the other night, but I'll put this on the melter today probably and just let it, on the warmer, let it melt. This is beautiful scent. So strong, very, very strong, this one. I could smell it all over the place, like seven, eight, very strong. And uh, good performance. Uh, if you're not really familiar with hydrangeas, I mean, I'm not super. Um, they're like, I would say they're kind of similar to a lilac. Kind of similar to a lilac scent. It's very intense, watery floral, very intense. Um, very spring-like, really a nice scent for this time of year. Definitely enjoyed this one. I would say I would get more, but I guess I won't because they're not around anymore. So I guess I won't get any more of them. Um, here's one I got from, kind of a one-off from uh, Ross. It was $6.99. Pure Scents is the brand. Island Kiwi, nice label. Uh, is there a description here? No. This was a soy candle. And as you can see, a little bit of a messy burn sometimes on those soy candles. But it was a very nice scent. Just very definitely the kiwi. Also, I would put some other kind of fruits in there. Maybe there's like a little maybe papaya or mango or something going on. Some tropical fruit. But definitely there is kiwi, but there's other stuff. What do they show on the label? Just called just kiwi and some flower. Yeah, I would say kiwi and something else like papaya or mango. Um, not the strongest candle in the world. I'm gonna give this one a four also. Uh, I could smell it if I was around it. I didn't particularly smell it when I was 10 feet away from it. I, I'd say I, I really, you really didn't smell it. So. It was okay. I don't think I would get it again, um, just for that reason. I don't mind, you know, it was a messy burn, but I don't care about that. That doesn't bother me, as long as it throws, but it didn't really throw that much. Then I have two of the small colonial candles. I've gotten small ones, eight ounce ones, 
recently here and there. This one came from a thrift store. This was Simple Breeze in the four ounce. These little suckers are strong. I mean, they're small, but I guess I would equate them like with these small seven ounce, uh, is this seven? Seven ounce. Oh, and this is eight ounce. I was gonna say four. I'm like, how's that possible? Seven and eight ounce. Both uh, really strong. Both of them really strong. And I like, this is a nice size too because you can burn it out on the counter, you know, by itself, but it's also a size that will fit in a lot of lantern, um, in my larger lantern and a couple of other things I have that this would actually sit inside of size-wise. So it's kind of a good size. Um, Simple Breeze is this scent. Okay, yet another friend is messaging me. Like I've been testing them all morning and they contact me hours later now. Um, this one is definitely, you see the laundry hanging out, that's the scent. It's like a fresh laundry with, uh, you know, fresh breezy summer air scent, really nice. It was strong, I could smell it everywhere, like a seven, eight, you know. But yeah, good one. No problems with the burn, a little bit of soot, but that's from me not trimming the wicks at the end. Uh, Mulberry also, this was another Colonial Candle. This one I got, oh, this one I got at a thrift store for $2.99. This one I got at uh, Ross for $4.99. And I had another one that I gave to a friend. I've given away a couple candles this month to people that, I guess because they're inside, they kind of are wanting saying, oh, do you have any spare candles? Because I know they know I have them and, you know, I don't have a million, but I have enough and there's nowhere they can really buy them that much right now. So I gave a few away. Mulberry uh, Colonial Candle. Really like this, this one. Pretty strong also. I would say like a six, maybe a little bit less than the Simple Breeze, but like a six. You could smell it most everywhere. And... Uh, Although I'm not really familiar with mulberries, what they smell like. I have to say to me, I think on cold and also on burning, um, it smelled grape to me. Definitely like grape. In fact, uh, one of my good friends was, who lives right here, a neighbor, um, came in and was like, oh, what's that grape smell? <laughs> I'm like, well, it's mulberries, but I guess mulberries smell like grapes. I don't know. It's a nice one. I liked it. I actually was burning this with um, a small one of the Bath and Body Works uh, apple. What is it? Some kind of apple. Apple toddy or one of those apple scents. And together, they smell really nice. Really nice. But yeah, this was a good one. I liked it. No performance issues. Uh, finally, this month, I went through, and of course, we're at stay-at-home order, so I'm at home more. I'm not at home totally. I'm not totally shut in, let me tell you, but uh, definitely at home more. Uh, so I went through a lot of candles. I did this, um, I got this for $7.99 at Ross, American Home by Yankee Candle Fresh Citrus. This one, disappointing, I'm going to say. I mean, it was $7.99, it was a good price, but disappointing. This is just a very fresh citrus scent that's definitely like an, well, they show you lemon, lime, and orange, and I would go along with that because I think it was sort of just a very generic citrus, like you couldn't exactly identify which one or you kind of got all of these in some combination. So sort of a generic fresh citrus. On cold, it was a nice scent, and I remember saying that I thought it was kind of light and it might be light, um, and it was indeed very light. Yeah, if you stood over it and smelled it, well, you could smell it. Um, if I had it going in the bathroom, which is a smaller room, I could sort of smell it in there. But when I had it burning out here in the main room, it was pretty much non-existent. I mean, it was just a light with an extremely light scent. So I would say like three on this one. I wouldn't get it again. Yeah, I wouldn't get it again. So what was my candle of the month? My favorite candle? I haven't thought of that until just right now, but I'm definitely going to say um, it was this Colonial Candle Mulberry Grape. Kind of good. I don't know. I like grape. I don't seem to run across grape anything anymore. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to love grape and everything was grape. And now I feel like I just don't see much that's grape. And this mulberry, whatever the heck a mulberry is, 
It smells an awful lot like a grape, and I like it. So <laughs> I'm going to give this one the candle of the month. So I hope you're all enjoying your uh, confinement. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying watching your videos and seeing what you're burning, and I hope you watch mine. Uh, since we're stuck inside, if you like music, if you're a music fan, I got a couple stations, Hawaiian Hi-Fi, that plays music from my Hawaiian record collection, 2,500 records. I also have Moody Mood Music that plays like old school, easy listening elevator music and space age bachelor pad music. It's kind of fun. Both of those are on Live 365, free to listen to. I don't make any money from them. They're just a hobby. They're something I do for fun. They're linked below if you want to check those out. And thank you for watching. Have a good week. Stay safe. And we'll see you in the next video. And I have to do a what I'm burning this month. That's going to be coming up. Um, I think I might do like a coronavirus video. Not, I'd not use the title because I know things are getting dinged or whatever, but just like what I'm doing and I'm curious what you all do, you know, just for conversation, right? Uh, and some other videos coming up too. So yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>